Hey YouTube, this is Robonax1 here, and I'm here to, to uh, do a review for episode 18 of Gotham, Everyone Has a Copper Pot. So this uh, episode is pretty interesting. Um, basically the idea of this episode is that not everyone is like um, Jim Gordon. Um, not everyone has the opportunity in Gotham to come, to come back from the mistakes they've made in the past. And this is something which Gotham is built on. Um, so in this episode we have, um, Flask returning into his role as a police detective. Um, and the reason why Flash, um, Flask is back in his role is because, um, the, is because Commissioner Loeb has, um, given, has given, um, Flash back his role and, uh, and also has um, given him a like a new status within within the GCPD, and basically G Gordon and Harvey Dent don't like this, so they team up in order to try and expose. Um, expose Commissioner Loeb and expose what um, he did that was so terrible um, so they can basically get rid of him as Commissioner and ensure that Flash doesn't return as to the GCPD. Um, we also have Bruce Wayne also, um, dealing with the aftermath of, of the fact that his, um, his, like, Alfred is in, it is in hospital, and we have, um, the possibility that Wayne Industries is coming after him. Um... And then with Fish Mooney, we have Fish finally meet the doll with the doll mocker or the doll maker. Um, so again, a lot of interesting elements that we're seeing in um, Gotham. Um, this episode, although very interesting, um, theme-wise, kind of is a bit, eh, like, I kind of feel like as we head more towards, um, the season finale, we kind of need the, the story to be going somewhere. Um, and I do think, well, and I do think when the show returns in April, that the show will start picking up towards its finale. It's just, the problem is, this episode kind of was a bit like an eh episode. Um, I think there are just bits about this episode that I just don't really care about. Like, the stuff happening with the doll mocker isn't really going anywhere. Um, I thought we had personally dealt with and um, the stuff with Flash, and we haven't, um, yeah, the, the, there's just a lot of elements here that was just like, eh, um, it's nothing like, um, the blind fortune teller, which, as I mentioned in that episode, I really, really liked. Um, but, the elements that I do like, um, for this story, um, 
is the stuff going on as far as everyone has a cop pot in Gotham. And what I really liked about this, like, thematic is that unlike Jim Gordon, not everyone stands on the principles of are able to stand on the principles of upholding the law. Crime really dominates um, the way Gotham City is run. And the police are controlled by this system. Like, the police kill people that the crime mobsters want killed. Which is how then the criminals and corrupt control Gotham. And that I think is a very, very interesting thematic um, to sort of play around with in this episode. That you do have Jim Gordon who is a who isn't a corrupt individual having to play around in a system that could be much better if there had been someone in the very early stages of Gotham ensuring that these crime mobsters didn't get away with so much. Um, and that's something that I really, really like. Um, I also find it very interesting that Jim Gordon is really fighting his way up the ranks. Um, and that maybe Jim Gordon himself isn't as honest and noble that, as, we first, as we perceive him to be. Because Jim Gordon attempts to um, to blackmail Commissioner Loeb um, to a certain t- to a certain extent, um, and I think what and I think what Gordon is trying to do here is he's trying to get to a to an area of power. Um, and he's trying to basically do good inside the system. Um, but in order to do so, he has to do questionable things that he wouldn't ordinarily do. And that, I think, is a very interesting and very fascinating, um, thing to, thing to explore. Just give me one sec. Sorry, my um, computer was about to die on me. Uh, so now we get on to the doll mocker um, aspects of the episode. Um, this kind of was a bit like eh. Um, again, nothing about the doll mocker aspects were really explored to its fullest. Um, to its fullest um, extent. Um, all we find out is basically the doll makers or doll mockers um, is basically on a remote island. That is basically pretty much all we find out at this stage. We don't find out anything beyond that. And I think that um, is pretty much like, so there's no real change being explored there. Um, But that being said, um, the Dolmockers aspects 
of the episode were very creepy. Um, like, the doll maker has a very twisted, um, twisted sort of joke, really, on, on himself. Like, he's really pushing, um, surgical, um, his surgical expertise and really bizarrely creating, um, these twisted versions of people. It's got a very Frankenstein-esque feel to it. Um, you're gonna have to excuse me, I keep referring him to Doll Maker ra rather than Doll Mocker. Um, and that's because this show has bizarre, um, a bizarre choice of words. I don't know why they just didn't call him the Doll Maker. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just refer him to Doll Maker as that's what it is in the comics and it's just easier to say. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like this Frankenstein-esque, um, element going on with the Doll Maker. And in terms of what's happening with Bruce Wayne, not a lot of development going on there, so I'm not really going to comment too much about it. Um, just that we get a very, very cute moment between Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle. Um, and we get Bruce um, having that attitude where he wants to do everything by himself. That's really all that's really, that we see. Um, so I would give this, so I would say this episode is an air eh kind of episode. Um, the show is returning in April, so that means there'll be no Gotham reviews for a very long time. Um, so in order to combat that uh, little uh, charade, um, you're only going to have one episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. out next week. So I'm going to try and give you guys um, some Marvel Studios reviews. Um, so far I have, re I have at least done most of the Marvel stuff. Um, but I will let you guys know if that is going to happen. Because I would like to get the entire Marvel Studios um, reviewed before the release of Avengers 2. So maybe next week might be a bit of a Marvel week. Anyway. I'm Robin That's One here, and I shall see you in April for another Gotham review. Bye.